Hi friends, my name is Maya and welcome to Delightful Souvenirs. Today's delightful souvenir in the kitchen is we're making our own kombucha starting from making our own scoby. We've heard about the healthful benefits of kombucha, right? But purchasing this drink can come with a hefty price tag. After I was successful with making my own ginger beer during the quarantine, I gained more confidence to try and make my own kombucha. But we can't without the scoby. So our kombucha adventure begins with making the scoby. Surprisingly, it's quite easy. Look how beautiful and healthy this kobe is. I made it for the first time, so I know that you can make it too. Word of caution, make sure that all your equipment and hands are very, very clean when preparing your kombucha and handling the scoby. We want to make a healthy drink, so we don't want the risk of contamination or food poisoning, right? So meticulously clean is good advice. To make the scoby, we will boil 7 cups of water. And yes, you can use tap water. Once the water boils, remove it from the heat and we will add one half cup of white sugar. And then we will add in four black tea bags. Leave the tea bags in the hot water to steep until it cools down to room temperature. My tea is very close to room temperature now, so I decided to remove the tea bags and transfer the tea into a 4 liter jar. Please make sure that the tea comes to full room temperature. We don't want any risk of killing our kombucha starter. The next step is we will add in 2 cups of raw and organic kombucha. We need the kombucha to be raw and unpasteurized so that it will have the living yeast and bacteria in there. It's essential to get our scoby started. As you have seen so far, getting started with our scoby is quite easy, isn't it? Four main ingredients, water, sugar, black tea bags, and a raw and unpasteurized kombucha. That's it! Cover the jar with a cloth and secure it with a rubber band. When I started making the kombucha scoby, it was still very cold outside. So I tried a few tricks to keep it warm, but it turns out the best place for it is on top of the fridge covered with a dark cloth. This is how the scoby looks like one week later. Don't they look like bugs with really huge eyes? This may look like mold, but it's not. So don't give up on your scoby very easily. Need a little patience. Two weeks later, we can really see the progression of our scoby. Isn't that beautiful? Well, there's a lot of rumor about how scoby is so ugly, but for me, this is beautiful. At this point, we can already use this scoby to make our kombucha, but because this is my first time making the scoby, I want to wait out until the end of the month to see how it grows and progresses. A lot of things happen in three weeks. Look, the weather is now beautiful and tulips are blooming outside. What a difference from three weeks ago when we still had snow. 
this Kobe is really looking beautiful and healthy, isn't it? Well, four weeks went by so fast and now we have a beautiful full-grown Scoby. Now let's use it to make our own kombucha. Because I waited a whole month for the Scoby to grow, the kombucha brew tastes like vinegar now. So I decided to discard the whole thing and start new. I also decided to clean the jar, but that's optional. Now, the most exciting part is actually making our kombucha. Let's boil 8 cups of water. During the process of making the scoby, we need to use black tea bags and white sugar because this acts as food for the developing yeast and bacteria to form the scoby. But now that we are making our kombucha, we can be adventurous and use different kinds of teas and different kinds of sweeteners. But I stuck to black tea and white sugar because this is my first time making the kombucha so I wanted to be sure that it will be successful. Here are the ingredients that we have used in making the scoby and now our kombucha. For the kombucha, I boiled 14 cups of water, added in 1 cup of sugar and 8 tea bags. Now we have to wait until our tea comes down to room temperature. It takes a long time to do that, so I decided to measure 2 cups of my starter that's raw and organic kombucha and then keep the scoby in it until the tea comes to room temperature. Once the tea have come to room temperature, I added in the scoby with the starter into the jar. The scoby sank at the bottom but that's okay. Now for our first brew to complete, we need to wait 6 to 10 days. Please click the link to see the continuation of this video where we do the second brew for the kombucha and add some flavors. See you there!